Okay. So we're looking for this dwarf's uh, son. And we're also going to sell off quite a bit more of what we have. Okay, let's let's get rid of what we got. Uh, drow chain, we can get rid of that. We keep the knight's gift. I'm I'm soft. I'll admit it, I'm soft. Super soft. Um, identify. Ah. You you wouldn't hurt a gnome, would you? <laughs> no, I would not hurt a gnome. Um, and we're barely making our money back off of those. Not too terrible. But really, it's best to identify these items for ourselves. So that. All right, I'm surprised the Impaler is only worth that much money. That's kind of depressing. Uh. And we'll just take care of those as we go. Flame of the North, I'm guessing we could get rid of, really. Heart of the Mountain, Spirit Shield, Skull Crusher is fantastic as well. We'll get rid of that. Also, I love the fact that we can't steal from this guy. Interesting. Okay, then. Off we go. I guess we're not skilled enough to try to steal, to steal from this dude. Me be bloody ready. Heck yeah. So maybe the kid is, I don't know, around here. We could take a look and see if we see the kid around here. Head out. To our next thrilling install, to our next thrilling adventure. But yeah, if Madhu was talented, that there are many people who would like that. Okay, yeah, this place got wrecked okay look at further down in the mines maybe or is that I don't know okay that's it for the kid um so I guess little gnome is out there somewhere all scared and alone. That's that's rough. Okay. Try to figure out a little bit of something. Maybe we could help him out somehow. We'll see. <clears throat> mm. Ugh. But anyhow, Malachas. Anything Oh, so many people are calling you about, hey, guess what is going down? But legit, Malarches, if your friend was a very good artist, he he could he could make a little little extra, he can make some pocket money doing commissions for people. I'm sure they would like the tasteful. Yeah, but we still got I figure until like mid uh, next week because they're going to have to recount like everywhere. Actually, hold on. Let me check something. Good artist? Works as a security guard? Okay. No, but he could like hit the internet and just, you know what I mean? He, he could hit the internet and make a little extra. Place is just too darn creepy. Let's see. I really want out of here. Okay, so Pennsylvania and Nevada got their stuff in. Georgia's still a little late. Okay. So, all right. We went to Arden. Ooh, nice. But yeah, you should just keep his skills up and at least continue with it. You know, even if it's not career path. Especially di with digital art. Hmm. Hmm. Forty-seven. Okay. 
Well, you could still. I was gonna say do do some commissions here and there. Or to be honest, he could just keep it up for his own enjoyment, which is also an option. It's not like everything has to turn into a hustle or a side hustle. You know? Um da 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 da. Ah, okay. That's all right. It's okay. It happens as well. To be honest, it does. But I'm I kind of want to see the artwork now to be honest. Just a little bit. But Wait, do you guys still play D&D &D together? Uh. But. Do you guys still play D&D &D together or do you just see him every now and again? No? Uh. Oh! Um. Kith Erdling. What? Oh dang! Okay, so that's a while ago. That that's a minute. But hey, it's all good. I I will be honest. I I have wanted to learn how to draw. And like like if I, I put a lot of work and effort into it, I can do something that's decent when it came to the logo. There's a part of me that may attempt next year to kind of like pick it up. Okay. Um, I was gonna say shoot. Okay. That's interesting. Um, hello, I seek pack. I seek passage through this realm of yours. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's not, that's not cool. Um, sigh, this isn't going to end well, is it? An obvious threat? <laughs> There's just no talking to some people? Uh, this isn't going to end well, is it? Nope. Okay, so let's pull back just a little bit. I kind of want to see how good Mazzy is now, to be honest with you. So we'll see. Uh, Mazzy, here we go. Um, I go. Hmm. okay, well, you are a good friend. I will say that. And Jacob is badly just jacked up. Okay. Oh. Yo, look, all you need is for somebody to, like, show up at somebody's house ready to bust stuff up. And you don't need no more of that, man. That, that's really it. You don't need nobody to show up ready to jack up your ish. To, to be completely 100% honest with you. Okay, uh, let's go over here and what? Double magic missile, you figure? Magic missile there. Magic missile here. And. How tough is this guy? Okay, Mazzy, uh, take him on, please. Okay, Jacob's kind of hurt right now, but uh, we're good. And we got more cow toad bolts. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 
Dang. That's kind of rough. I I could agree with that. I've been like like checking myself on how I treat people and it's usually better than they would treat me. And I got to I got to watch that. Because it's just not bolt of biting. All right, cool. It's just like I will do more for them than they will for me. And if the person is kind of like a jerk, then that also does not end well. You, you know, it's just take taking care of me a little bit more first. Yeah. That's 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 too much. It's it's like an insult really. If that makes any sense. It really is like an insult. Alright. So we're gonna rest because Jacob's really jacked up right now. And then we're gonna see what's going on. Oh. Huh. There we go. Oh yeah, no. Nope. Mm -mm. Yes. I've been there. I, I've been there too, and you like hey say hey stop saying that, and then they keep doing it. Nah, they they're not a friend. They there's someone who realizes that they can, like boost themselves up by talking badly to you or about you, and they're not going to be cut off, so they'll keep doing it to make themselves feel better. Hmm. Yeah. He he was a habitual line stepper. He he line stepped habitually. Until you you had to. <laughs> you had to um. Charlie and Eddie Murphy. Charlie Eddie Murphy, the couch scene. That's it. Why do I feel like there's a trap here? Like I just do. Oh, hi Katoa. Um, Kuatoa. Okay, Kuatoa. I, I gotta get phonetic there. I, I really gotta work that out phonetically. Um, we're going to. What is skull trap? How would skull trap work here? I'm really intrigued to see how that works out. Yeah, it's just not. It's, it's not worth it. Because I've been there. And then they just like pull something on you later on. It's it's not. It, it's it's a level of respect that never was there. So you eventually have to put respect there. And why why should you have to do that? You know what I mean? You shouldn't have to like come out and and make somebody put respect on your name. Just not, just, just not worth it, really. Okay, so we got more bolts. Woohoo! Uh, near you can hold on to these ones. Uh, we got, and we got death. God dang it. So then we pick up death, so we really didn't need to buy that. But hey, whatever. It's all right. And let's grab those. But yeah, that's really all I could think of. Like, Char not Charlie Murphy. Rick James just habitually lying, Stefan. Coming to Eddie Murphy's house and with, with those cowboy boots on tracking mud everywhere and just started stomping on his couch that's all i could think of uh we got more enemies where 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 okay it doesn't look like we have too much else going on why am i Nimoin. Let's try this again. Hide. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is everyone? Oh, okay. You can count on me. So there we go. What do we got? Not too much I could see. Alright. Let's go this way and see what's up here. I'm still trying to see if we can find that um, merchant's son. Okay, the Underdark is way too big. You must gather your party before venturing forth. So, we have two areas now that we're definitely going to have to gather a party before venturing forth. Oh! Okay. Are we are we going to pull this off? Come on, come on, somebody. I love how Nira just walked in there with the core staff trying to take him out. Whew. Okay. We got an eye stalk and we got a couple other items. You gonna make some coffee? All right, cool. Well, thank you for watching, sir. So is this, this is, this is, this, this goes deeper, doesn't it? Ah, oh, crap. Let's pull back. We're gonna pull back. We're not. I don't think we're ready for Beholder shenanigans, right? Um. Okay. I still have so much crap to sell. Okay. Let us examine. Longsword blade? Is this another uh, part of the silver sword? We also have the eye stalk of an elder orb. All right, that's pretty nice. Himowin, identify this. Blade of the Equalizer. So this isn't like the blade of the silver sword. This is a part of the Equalizer, a great longsword forged long ago as a tool for balancing the powers of the universe, also known as the sword of neutrality. It did greater damage the further the target's alignment was from true neutral. The Equalizer was last rumored to have been wielded by the elven hero, Alien Greenleaf, who was lost during a voyage to the Underdark. Other rumors have, however, proposed that the blade's pommel gem was stolen by an escaped slave who returned to the surface world. Oh, so we have the blade, the pommel, and what else of the Equalizer? I don't think we have the rest of the bits of the Equalizer, do we? We need the pommel gem. And I feel like that has been super lost to the end of, to the edge of time or the ends of time. No. Did I sell it? Oh my god, I sold an item. Can't believe it. Um ba -ba 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 -ba. nah. So let's see what the other item is. We picked up, I think, a circlet or something? Or a necklace. Here we go. What do we got? Uh, Amulet of Spell Wardering, a favorite item of protection for a mage entering a magical duel. This amulet provides protection against spells, but does not interfere with the mage's own spell casting. Jesus. So, Nira, immediately. What's this? A uh, meta spell that gives her an extra second level spell? Nah, we don't care about those right now. Okay, there we go. Actually, this works great for Emoin. Boom. Because Emoin, an extra second level spell is... Yeah, it's like an extra web or stinking cloud or something. That's not bad. Okay. So, we're gonna... Go over here to this gentleman. We're going to sell more of our wares. And then we're going to be right back and try to see what we could do about these mind flares. No, not mind flares. Uh, what we could do about these god beholders. And hopefully it's not too bad. I'm kind of just shocked that beholders are chilling with each other. I always thought that beholders, you know, hated each other because of Xanathar. And how he works. But maybe... 
I guess it depends. There's a mind flare hierarchy? Not mind flare. There's a beholder hierarchy. I have coffee, and this coffee isn't even doing anything for me right now. Uh, hey. We got some stuff to sell. So, the crazy thing about the weapon is that it does more damage if the opponent is not true neutral. Which is super useful down here. Uh, come on, let's get rid of this. Oh, so I lost, I lost gold there. Oh, good grief. We should get rid of the two-handed sword. I gotta identify that. Um, um, impaler will keep. Wow, I can't believe that that's what there's. Uh, long sword, we identify that. Still gonna suck. Skull crusher. Eh, we'll get rid of these. Ah, uh, Kuton boats. All right, I'm pretty good. Be quick with it. I will go back after selling like three items. Yes, hold on. Wait a second. I forgot Corgan. All right. Uh, we we're keeping Soul Reaver. Hundred and fifty. So if we identify all this plate, let's just do that now. Which it around. I am a hoarder. I am a hoarder. I am a hoarder who needs to get rid of stuff. Um, Robin. Okay, what did Robin do? Um. Okay, right. Had a girdle of storm dried strength. Oh, so what? It was a DM enemy? Could also toss boulders? That's actually pretty funny. Oh, like an actual giant, right? And he would just throw the boulders and try to kill kill your party, I'm guessing? Okay, there we go. Alright, off we go. We're gonna check out some of the mind flares for a second. The beholders? Robin. Say it fast. Robin? Robin! Can on natural trunny. Jesus. Break your weapon. Oh, that's disgusting. Like, wait, if your DM wants to break your weapon, why doesn't he just, like, break out a rust monster? I feel like that's probably the best. Disarm your shit? What, was he a monk? Was he a monk? Is that how he did it? That's the only thing I could think of, a monk, right? You must gather your party before venturing. Like to be completely honest, that's how I imagine like level 30 monks. Like they they could just do anything. They could just do whatever it is. They they could just He was a DM special. Oh god. I I don't know if I would like your DMs at all. Level up. Da, 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 da. Okay. Not too bad. Where are we at? Excuse me. Um. When he got enraged, he grew. What, was he a ball spawn? Is that what he was? Something amiss. Was he just a freaking ball spawn? Like, hey, I'm angry. Raw. Twenty feet. It's kind of nuts, to be honest. Or was it like a magical item? I, f I feel like your DM just felt like, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have the most anime, anime fight ever. This dude is going to be able to throw boulders, break weapons, trip people. He's gonna be able to do whatever he feels like. That's just how it's gonna be, right? He's just gonna do whatever. Uh, yeah, let's hit this. Like Marvel superheroes? Good god. It's kind of nuts. I mean, on the other hand, that does sound quite entertaining. But that does sound kind of nuts, man. There's an orc shaman. What was, what was I going to say? They call him... 
Something of Groomish or Grump Groomsh? Is that how it's? I'm about to ask you how to pronounce something again. Groomsh, right? Groomsh is like nuts. Oh, hey, um, we're just gonna throw some fireballs over here. Screw that. Um, here we go. Stinking cloud. I love these spells so much. Ah! <laughs> Dude, I love, 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 everything that we're doing right now. This is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm guessing matron, mother, whoever needs something to accomplish whatever she's looking for. And Emwyn leveled up, so let's hit that. It was an orc shaman. That's pretty cool. Um, <gasps> we got seventh level spells. We got seventh level spells. All right. Uh, mass invisibility. What's more than kind of sword do? Bunk casting spells, shimmering sword, uh, like plane of force that leaps into the wizard's hands. Plus four wet in all respects and deals five d d four points of damage upon hitting a target once the spell is cast. The sword will float in the air completely under the caster's control. This does not prevent the caster from doing any other actions during the spell's duration. So, I gotta see how this works. I'm really kind of interested by that. Does that mean that we summon a sword that is completely independent of us and will go ahead and move and act and do everything? Or does that mean we just get like one shot with it? Okay, yeah. Matron, mother, whatever the heck her name is, is very, very interested in this. We're going to throw some haste on Mazzy right now. Hold on. Uh, map, we're going to have Mazzy run all the way back to us. Oh, Mazzy save as a spell. Great. That could have been really bad. Alright, um, you, let's get this going. Well, boom. Grooms? 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 Okay. So, hold on. I have, a, I have a question. I was watching another video where someone was talking about why, um, why Groomsh, 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 and Corellian. I'm, I'm probably butchering that name too. Corellian have beef. So I don't know if it's changed in recent times. But essentially, he tried to pull something. Most people say groom-ish, grumish. I love how these dudes are hitting us. They're freaking. I, I love how these guys are hitting us through the walls right now. That's all right. But it's grumsh. Okay. I feel like I've said um, that before as well. So these guys didn't even move after us. Um, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work with that. Not groom, grum, like rum, grumsh, 
Grumsh. Okay, there we go. Um, we're gonna have to wait out this entire stinking cloud because I'm an idiot. And we'll see how that works out. I'm, I'm happy, but I'm also slightly sad. But yeah. Try to let that just run out and then we'll come out of it. Because for something happened where Corellin, the god of the elves, was setting something up. Everybody was like placing their little creations on the material plane. And Corellin pulled a fast one. And Gromsch got angry and then they got into a fight. And that's how he lost his eye. I think is, is how I, I learned it. That's how I learned about it. Jesus! I love this right now. So, um, let's, let's talk about this for a second. Do they ever lose rays or, or no, they don't lose rays because it's like a natural ability, right? This is so weird. This is... Okay, let's... Let's try this again. They should be, like, concussed from the item that we used. Alright, here we go. So a Gauth is, I'm guessing, a very, very powerful Beholder? Um, Robin. 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 Robin? Was Chaotic Neutral? Oh, lovely. Because, yo, everybody loves Chaotic Neutral. Okay. We got a Mind Flare chasing us right now. Not a Mind Flare. Good grief, JB. Alright. Well, that sucked. So there goes that plan. So did I make a quick save? Uh, we made a quick save before we got in here, didn't we? Okay. So... I, I want to say, what do you think about hitting that? But we also have been streaming for a minute. So I'm thinking... Hmm. Let's at least, let's at least tackle that. Or at least get back to where we were. Yep. Gotcha. Because if I'm right, yeah, these guys are going to be fighting over here. Really? I, I kind of wish that you could do, like, sneak attack. Or sneak attacks worked with magic. Um, let's go with another... What do we got? There we go. This should work out nicely. Ra. Ra. Braun? Bon? Ra Bon. Okay. Ra Bon. Alright. Alright, come on. Alright, and we should be able to take this guy out. So that's Emwyn's level up right there. 
Okay. Ugh. Okay, so they're on the ground. Which is lovely, and they'll come back later. Alright. So I'm thinking maybe instead of checking out that one side, we could go up. And that might be best. Or I'm thinking, actually... Now that we took care of that, I think that will be the end of the stream for today. We did some cool stuff, we got some dope stuff, and I'm pretty happy about that. We're, we're slowly taking care of the Underdark, and even though we did lose someone, I was actually able to res them, like a smart person this time, instead of just letting bad things happen. So, I'm pretty happy about that.